All right, welcome to this uh, short virtual tour on Physics A, um, which was a 2013 Blackboard Exemplary Course Program Award winner. It was developed and is currently being used by BlendedSchools.net, an online cyber school. Um, and then it was developed by Peter Kishpaw, that's me, um, and I am a physics teacher at Altoona Area High School in Altoona, Pennsylvania. So this is a uh, introductory course to physics. Um, it's where you're actually going to see the basics of mechanics be covered. Um, the course utilizes Blackboard as its um, platform. Um, and you can see here along the left-hand navigation side that you can access the home page, um, an introduction, which is actually where we currently are. Actually, I'm sorry, we're at the class information. An introduction, which is, is another introduction or brief overview to the course. And then there's a message center that, if you're familiar with Blackboard, actually enables you to communicate with students fairly effectively. Um, so the course itself provides a syllabus that teachers uh, using the program can uh, edit or use as is. It's kind of a, a rough guideline to how the course should be taught or how I had it in mind when I was building it. You'll also see that the course understandings uh, are listed. These are the big ideas uh, behind this course, all the different uh, big concepts that students should know before uh, finishing this course. There are also several other folders, as you can see here, that provide additional information on how the course can be taught or, or uh, suggestions for how the, the course can be taught. And it also will include different types of um, program requirements or materials needed to complete the course effectively. Okay, um, You'll also see on this left-hand navigation side that you can actually click on each individual unit. Uh, this particular course is made up of four units and each unit actually um, consists of about seven lessons on average. Uh, there is also a discussion uh, board for students to interact with one another um, from a distance and kind of have healthy conversations about um, some of the concepts or ideas that they're being covered throughout the class. There's also a reflective journals page which uh, can be used for students to answer big idea questions uh, at the end of each individual lesson. Uh, the course as well utilizes a grade center um, it, it utilizes uh, different types of class tools and ways for evaluating. I think one of the coolest things that uh, this course actually allows for is um, there's a grade center which will automatically update student grades and allow for teachers to easily keep track of the progress of students uh, and of course add or change um, grades as necessary. So my favorite part of the course is actually the individual content that's listed within, within each unit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Unit 4. Uh, every unit is pretty much follows the, sta the same format. Um, you'll come to a, a home page for the unit and you'll see the course enduring understandings um, that are also listed on the home page. You'll get an introduction to the project and then each individual lesson has a folder where students can submit and upload um, assignments that need to be completed in each lesson as well as they can access um, all of the different um, presentations. So the unit assessments also, I'm going to click on this first, um, the unit assessments is an area in which students have a unit test as well as a unit project which is uh, what we call a GRASP project and you'll notice that there are uploaded documents that provide guides for students to read uh, what is required of them. You'll also see that they're given a goal and a role and an audience and uh, they're also provided with a project rubric which I think is very powerful for for teachers to have when doing this course because they can know what to look for when when doing different types of um, grading uh, of assignments. So if we go back to that previous page where we had the unit four lessons, I'm just going to click on one of the lessons to kind of show you an example of how the lessons are kind of set up. 
So each lesson is uh, equipped with drop boxes for different types of assignments. Um, this is actually a discussion, so you'll actually click on it and go to the discussion board. You'll have different types of journal questions that need to be answered in your uh, your journal, which can be found on in this navigation side. And then there's also areas for differentiation. Now you may be wondering what this button does, so I'm going to click and show you because this is actually the content within the class. So all of the lessons on this uh, course use what we call soft chalk, and this is your entrance to it. Uh, you can see all the different things that you can change, the grading method, the maximum amount of attempts, and of course you can end the entire lesson or all the attempts by, by clicking that button. So I'm going to go into the view lesson. Each lesson uh, starts off with a different type of do you know question, vocabulary, and a short thing that's supposed to get you excited about the lesson. Uh, each lesson is then equipped with a presentation uh, or, or more than one. Um, and it can be anywhere from a PowerPoint to myself showing example problems of how to solve um, some mathematical calculations. The courses are also equipped with different ways to practice the content. You'll see that sometimes it's an internet activity, sometimes it's an interactive activity in which kids are asked to solve different things. You'll also see that I provide self-graded practice problems for kids to check and of course they can retry um, as necessary. There's also an interact button um, where you can see the different ways to interact and collaborate with other classmates and every single um, lesson is, ends with some type of short quiz um, that will enable kids to do well on the the end of the unit test. Alright so that was a very quick short virtual tour of uh, this this class that I've created. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you take the opportunity to to look at it a little bit more in depth and I hope you like what you see. Alright thanks.